Yeah. Shit. Okay. Hi guys and welcome. This is the first, one of the first um, videos that I made about the Samsung S11 uh, that will uh, practically show up on uh, February, I think. On February the 11th. 2020 this year practically um, I hope you're going to enjoy it and what the hell let's just get on to it so practically the name Samsung S11 we don't know that for sure it's just a rumor maybe but Samsung is planning to change the name from S11 to S20 that will be like S20 the S20 Pro uh, but Pro the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra. So if it's not, it's going to be just regular, normal, uh, based on name that you uh, already uh, are uh, aware of. Practically the S11e, the S11 and the S11 Plus. So that's not going to make any difference. So I hope Samsung will rethink, rebranding the name. Um, well, let's get into the specs a little bit because this is one of the most uh, interesting phones that will, and most expected phones uh, from Samsung. Samsung, uh, the Note, the S-series, and uh, of course the iPhone. Um, yeah, those are one of the three most expected phones every year. Yeah, well the display, the display is going to be between 6.63 inches and 6.7 inches and less curved uh, than the S10 and believe me I use it, I have the S10 and it's uh, one of the greatest phones that I ever um, encounter and, and get my hands on, uh, it's, wow, what? Of course, the display is a little bit curved and the edge, practically all the applications that you have on the edge, they're just not good for anything. You just have simple things. So, if Samsung is planning to make the display a little bit edgy, this is going to be just sweet. Uh, well, okay. But the most important thing on this phone is the camera. The camera, the camera. Practically the camera is going to be the pen. Because Samsung is working on a highly sensor for camera. So it could be the 20 megapixel camera sensor that we all know. And again, it's not going to get any improvements, so practically you should stay with your S9, 8 or S10. So yeah, it's not something that you want to upgrade to. Or the 108 megapixel sensor camera that Samsung already put and shipped to Xiaomi. And Xiaomi uses that sensor on the display phone or this one <laughs> this one yeah <laughs> and if it's going to come with that sensor okay that, that means a lot of light in it that means a lot of um, the IE the, uh, into, in, uh, the artificial intelligence need to uh, be way better than practically uh, the normal phone where you have like three images on the side, three images brighter, darker, and one or two thumbnails that has has the sharp images, and then combine it. So at 108 megapixels, practically, would expect something more, way more than the standard normal thing. Because again, you're paying for a price. Phone, being the price for a phone that has the same specs, it's not worth it. Um, and of 
course, it is going to, it is, is going to come with the 108 megapixel. Practically, you have 20, uh, 20 zoom, 20x zoom. So it, it's going to have the 12 or 60 that we're normally used to. It's going to have five instead of. So, five optical zone is not somewhere near my expertise, and I think neither your expertise. Oh, shipment of flagship that is going to be released in 2020. 2020. Like, hey, the picture is now! We were expecting, I don't know, a bracelet that will just made a hologram or something. Using our day technology, modern day, and it's like a display. Uh, okay, because of some of the specs, and again, they need to improve the battery. So, practically, the S11 or S20 were the first, the cheapest, the cheapest. The cheapest one is going to come with the 4500 milliampere. So practically that's a little bit okay because uh, some of the phones don't have, they have like 4000, 4020. So for me, for example, as a regular base user that just have um, used the phone a lot in the daytime and is going to be an improvement. Practically, that means I don't know, more uh, two hours or three hours of not charging the phone, and that's that will be okay. I hope even if the battery will get onto it, it and it's going to be a little bit better than normal shipments. I hope it's going to um, uh, also include a faster charger and. Uh, Super silent charge. Like, when will we will get to that point where I don't charge the phone in one minute? Yeah. Well, okay. And uh, we talked about the cheapest version. But on the premium versions, uh, the S11 Plus and Ultra going to be 5,000 so 5,000 milliampers that's uh, good but also if the display will be 6.7 inches that means practically you're going to lose battery through the it's going to be well optimized for that so hope oh, Samsung will be prepared for anything some of the specifications on the phone is uh, they're like we don't know it's just a rumor all the other things are uh, announced if you google it or search it or anything you'll find them uh, um, according to Samsung the others like the RAM and the processor and the, the flash memory the storage you know, the rumors. So practically it's going to have the base model is going to have 12 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the Snapdragon 865 and 128 gigabytes of storage. So that's practically a little bit of improvement to this then. But we know. Uh, but and this is a big one. Not a big one with Kim Kardashian, but a big one. Uh, we don't know anything uh, about the model that is used. We don't know if it's going to have 5G in it. I don't know. Because the latest Snapdragon needs a 5G. 
If not, they practically alterated the processor and don't need or use a 5G modem. So, if they made a custom Snapdragon for their phone in order to ship with 4G, there are a little bit of downgrades because practically the Snapdragon will not work properly as it was designed to and it's going, it's going to have less juice, less power and less is not good because in 2020 you're expecting for a phone to have 5G because it's already getting started and most of the countries have 5G and where do you leave that? 5G probably it's essential to you if you want to download the game or if you practically want to I don't know, upload a video you're going to need 5G it's like 4G, 5G it's a big difference it's not like we're talking about hey I have a pen and I have a pencil that doesn't matter but it does if you're a writer if you're not it's bullshit this is the same thing if you have 4G or you have 5G Practically, for most of you, probably it will not matter. For the rest of you, instead, it's going to get serious. Okay. And also, we have the price. It's a price, it's a fair price. It's just a rumor. And it will stay a rumor until Samsung's announcement, the official phone and official price there. So practically, this is going to come with a price tag of 899 USD. That's a little bit way up. You, even if you're buying for from the Samsung store, and then you're going to print. But then, okay, it's going to be 899. But it's cheaper than less than model. So, like I said, it's a rumor, I don't trust this rumor, and this is what we get, so we don't know exactly. But if those are the specifications, and this is the price, this is going to be a great thing to have and buy, so practically we'll uh, just wait for it and see what they're trying to do. So, until next time, hey! Have a good one and write down besides uh, in the comment box if you practically think the Samsung S11 uh, or 20 cents uh, is going to be greater than the previous versions or if you think the price is fair or even if you have the price tag that is more reliable from a source that's more reliable than what we found. So yeah. Um, just subscribe and see you next time.